For the victory lap, though. Whoa, whoa. They ain't never seen nothing like this before. Lit the room when I came through the front door. Ask me if I should suffer, come. What for? Train in the trees, please pardon my sycamore. Touch burning sands, cross lands, and still me sure, sure, seasons in these years, yeah. Ain't no channel for champions and chain no fear. Yeah. This day 15. I try to work out every day and I'm exhausted. Oh near, I see my victory so clear. I see my victory so clear. It's a day, we break through. It's a day, we break through. It's a day, we break through. Trying to do my first five kilometers. 36 minutes in and I'm freaking dying. Day, we break through. It's a day. I know it's lonely at the chair. Today is day 25 for working out every day. My body's feeling sore as usual every day, but yeah, keep going, keep going. The pressure, no jet lag. This is greater than trophies and saluted flags. Titles of pain, the cross is paid. Yay, I, I, I carry the cross I made. Deal with the dealer. Baby, the hand was played. New level, next stage. Learn a leader to legend. Now tell me what's my next stage. Yay, I said the champ is here. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Aaron. And today I just want to share with you my progress in the last 30 days the last 30 days i've set myself a challenge to work out every single day for 30 days and this is how it started so on day one i was about 64 kilos which is about 140 pounds and 30 days later i was about 59.6 kilos which is about 130 pounds so I managed to lose about 10 pounds in the last 30 days and I wanted to share with you the why for me the why is definitely the most important so why I've decided to do the 30 days challenge so let's talk about the why so just to share a little background on July 2022 I did about 24 workouts which a total time of 8 hours and I burned a total of 2,594 calories which about which is about an average of 20 minutes to and 108 calories and then what happened in August was that I kind of lost the motivation quite a bit and I put on a lot of weight I've eaten a lot of things went crazy and did a total of 8 workouts and burn a total of 1391 so it's about half of what I did right here some days I, I, I did try to push it but most of the time I didn't feel the mood or didn't feel the motivation to work out anymore instead of blaming myself or feeling sorry for myself I started a challenge I told myself right in September, I'm just not gonna start a video and post every day. I'm gonna do a fitness challenge as well. So as you can see, 1,300. So it's gonna round up to 1,400. In September, I burned a total of 7,709 calories. I just, just ignore the workout here. There was a lot of times where I did partial workout, which is a combination of cardio and strength. So I would stop it and start a uh, cardio fitness uh, exercise instead. So in September, I burned about 1,709 calories. And if you divide it by 30 days, last month, it rounds up to about 250 calories on an average day. As you can see right here, I did strength training, jump rope, and outdoor run. So there was like three different workout counter on that day. So trying to do a little of everything kept me moving. So the key that I did here was to move more. As you can see right here, that I'm doing different types of things. Kind of, uh, traditional strength training, functional training, and then did the yoga. So now that you know the why, let's talk about how I was able to do it. So I, I shared a bit that 
I decided to move more because I was working from home. So working from home is where I am on my table for eight hours a day. And I, while I have a standing table, it's not every day that I'm disciplined enough to stand and work. So that's it's, it's definitely a work in progress, but it takes baby steps. So I wanted to set myself the 30 days challenge and work out every single day. So how I, how I was able to do it is, I think the most important one is for me, was to do a wide variety of workouts. So something that I do most of the time will be weight training. So that's something that I definitely would do. And I try to do that about a minimum of 15 to 20 minutes a day. So that's my weight training. Once I'm done with my weight training in the evening, I try to do a cardio. And I try to do a cardio about five to six times a week. And again, the reason why I do cardio is because I'm seated most of all the entire day. So that's definitely not good for health. And because I work from home, I don't normally get a lot of movements. So my cardio definitely was very important for me. So the types of cardio that I do would be boxing, cycling, a run, outdoor run, as well as would be walking. On the days where I don't feel 100% or where I feel like I need to recover, that, that's where I do the walk. Otherwise, if it's on a good day, I'll try to run or do boxing or unless if I'm doing a shoulder day, then I'll try to skip boxing because boxing uses a lot of shoulders. And so. Definitely for me, mixing up all the different types of workout definitely helped quite a bit and gave me a variety of things that I can do. But again, you all know that your nutrition would definitely be the most important. So my nutrition is dialed in by me because I have some experience dialing in my own macros. I'm not gonna share in details because I definitely recommend reaching out to someone who is more experienced or certified in order to set your macro nutrition for you. So my nutrition is prep for myself high protein, balanced carb as well as balanced fat. I don't do keto, mine is balanced for me and what I feel is suitable for my lifestyle. So high protein definitely, I'm eating about one pound uh, protein for my weight. And my main source of protein would definitely be chicken breast because that is something that I enjoy. And so definitely you need to be eating something that you enjoy. Don't try to go for what you feel is the most popular trend and eat what that you know that you're able to continue. But make sure that you're picking the healthy option of course. Uh, for me, chicken breast is something that I enjoy. I was able to eat it nearly 95% of the time. Remaining 5% is definitely fish where there are days where I don't feel like eating chicken breast. That's where I go for fish. And if you tell me to eat fish every day, I probably won't be able to do it. Definitely choose something that you know that you are able to continue. And most important again will also be listening to your body and know that if you need a the rest day, definitely do take a rest day. For me, I set this challenge to do it 30 days and there are days where I know that I needed a recovery day, but because I've set myself this challenge, I did take that recovery day. Instead, what I do was more a lighter workout as well as an outdoor walk instead of an outdoor cardio. I hope this gave you some insights. What's next? What is the next 30 days like? So I'm gonna try my best to continue this challenge for as long as I can. And I'm even going for a holiday, which is on 12, which is 10 days from now. So for the next 10 days, I'm definitely gonna continue this trend. Even while I'm traveling, I'm gonna try to work out every single day as well, because I know that I'm gonna be eating. I'm not gonna be eating clean or controlling what I can or can't eat. Because for me, a holiday is a holiday. That's where you take a break from your diet. And typically, I will take a break from my workout as well. But So I'm just gonna keep up with the workout every single day, but not control my diet too crazy. Just keep trying my best to keep everything in moderation. Do I recommend this challenge, working out every single day? Definitely not. I think your body needs recovery. And, but again, for me, I love challenges. I'm gonna set myself to do it every single day. And there are people who work out every single day. There are people who run every single day. So for me, I'm just gonna try to work out every single day. So I hope that helps. If you love this type of video, let me know. See you on the next one.